Hey, Gemini gang. What's up, y'all? Let's see what's happening. All Gemini placements. Take what resonates. And leave the rest. Personal readings are in the description box, you guys. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Again, personal readings are in the description box, you guys, on the website. So please check out the website, you guys, before emailing me or DMing me about personal readings. All right? Um, yeah, let's see what's going on. Also, I have one Instagram, you guys, and that's it. One TikTok, and that's it. Okay? So there could be other people, um, you know, impersonating me, trying to get stuff from you guys. That's not me okay all right y'all let's see what's happening i'm using these today because i want to <laughs> so let's see what we have Ooh, gemini's okay so we have sensuality and i will go in the book and uh read over these before the reading is over so we have sensuality and it says feminine wisdom and passion Ooh, gemini courage so there's a courage in the other deck as well so i love this some of you may also have leo in your chart somewhere because there's a lion on here and then it says strength fierceness and family Ooh. so gemini y'all out here fierce fierce okay power over difficulty reclaiming your power <laughs> reclaiming my time so um I actually have that re <laughs> that is a line from uh Jasmine Sullivan's song uh that's in my handwritten uh the song called Tragic. <laughs> I'm gonna link that just because it popped into my head when I saw that card. And then on the bottom, so I've told you guys in other readings that when I, I pull one of these a day for me just so I can learn them and you know get my energy on them and I see this almost every single day. So this is the harvest and it's gathering of blessings. So I see this card for myself very often, almost literally almost every day. I either pull this or I see it at the bottom of the deck. So um, blessings on blessings on blessings for you, Gemini's. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of you guys reclaiming your power. Two of cups. That's how we're starting off with the king of cups on the bottom. So, yeah, Gemini's, I feel like for a lot of you, this is it's very interesting coming up under sensuality. Some of you may have a connection coming in. Mm-hmm. Gemini's, what? I'll take the four of wands. And I'm seeing the six of swords and the chariot. I'm seeing the nine of swords at the bottom. Same, the same thing I saw in the other reading. You have a connection coming, Gemini's. I feel like a soulmate. Mm -hmm. The Four of Wands is the 1111 card. Woo. Oh, the Seven of Swords. Mm hmm. The Four of Pentacles. I'm seeing the Knight of Cups. It's a bunch of cards that came out. I'm not going to take all these, but. I saw the temperance, so you could be dealing with a Sag for some of you. Um, the Seven of Swords makes a lot of sense under the courage here. The Nine of Swords again, you guys. What the hell is going on? Are you stressed out or someone in your energy is, Gemini? Somebody in your energy is stressed the fuck out, honey. Worrying, having anxiety. Have, could also be having a dark night of the soul. Mm -hmm. Five of Cups. I'm seeing the tower on the bottom, and I'm seeing the four of cups over here as well. So, Gemini's interesting spread so far. So, I feel like, Gemini's, with the seven of swords under the courage, I feel like some of you may feel like you don't have what it takes for something. Mm-hmm. Because the Seven of Swords can a lot of times be about avoiding something. Like, if you look in this card, he's avoiding battle by stealing. <laughs> so it's almost as if, Gemini's, you might feel like you, um, how can I put it? What's, what's like a good way to say this? Y'all know I always like to say things to where it makes sense. Um... Like an imposter. There there we go. 
that's that's a good way to put it like some type of imposter syndrome Gemini's like say for instance um, I'll use tarot as an example because some of you guys email me or DM me saying that you want to do tarot or you want to do energy work or you want to do spiritual work but you're not confident that's what the seven of swords is like you feel like you're not good enough to do something or you feel like you, you don't have enough uh, your skills aren't um, advanced enough to do something that that's the vibe that I'm getting or you feel like, well, you know, um, I'm not good, as good as such and such, or I'm not uh, as as um, I'm not as a, as experienced. There we go, as experienced as such and such. But it takes practice. It takes work. You know what I mean? Also, I feel like with the four of cups over here on the bottom, there's something that you're missing, Gemini's, especially with the five of cups over here, because like I said um, in other readings, you see in front of him where he has those three cups spilled. And how he's he has um he's looking at those three cups and he's looking sad at the spilled cups, but he's ignoring those ones in the back over here where my finger is. He's ignoring those cups standing up in the back. And y'all see that white bridge back there in the in the back, you guys? That means there's something here that can be saved. There's something here that can work out, uh, Gemini's. That's a power over difficulty. So some of you might be focusing on something that is gone away. And not paying attention to something that spirit is handing to you, uh, Gemini's. Or this could be somebody in your energy that has done this. Always take these how I resonates because this could be like a past energy, a current energy, or uh, energy in the near future. Okay. And nothing wants to flip over now. Spirit said, reading, reading over. <laughs> yep, the three of pentacles. <gasps> Y'all, the two of cups again under the deck. Y'all have a connection coming. You sure do. You have a connection coming. One that you're going to be able to build on, uh, Gemini. You two are going to be able to build together. Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles on the bottom. Yeah, Gemini, you have somebody coming. Look, look at look how this this card is running right towards this, this Four of Wands here. Somebody's coming right for your ass, Gemini's. Right for your ass. <laughs> I feel like someone is again. Someone is needing to build the courage. I keep seeing this King of Pentacles for you guys. It's gonna be a Taurus. Somebody is needing to like build courage though to do so. Or somebody did. Child, the moon. Somebody's very insecure. Gemini's. I'm not totally sure if this is you or if this is uh, someone in your energy. But I also feel like, too, someone has been avoiding their feelings. Nine of Wands on the bottom. Even though they're, they're not giving up on the relationship, I feel like this person avoids their feelings. They avoid emotions. And you just can't. Like, you know, it's... You can't avoid emotions. The five of pentacles. Oh, yes, Gemini's. Yikes. The six of wands on the bottom. Okay, so. <sighs> Interesting, Gemini's. So, I'm seeing a connection here. It could be with someone that you are not on good terms with. Someone that doesn't open up. They avoid having hard, uh, hard conversations. Um... They avoid emotions. They avoid feelings. Um, at least discussing them. Because you can't avoid emotions. Emotions. Emotions is energy in motion. You can't avoid it. So if someone says that they, you know, they're not emotional or they don't have emotions, they do. They just come out in fucked up ways. If you don't, um... If you don't have a healthy outlet for it, it'll come up, come out in unhealthy ways, uh, Gemini's. But everyone has emotions. But where the energy goes is, is up to you. 
sometimes the energy goes towards drugs, alcohol, you know, other addictions, you know, lashing out, narcissism, and things like that, uh, Gemini's. So, yeah, I feel like this is someone that you've been on bad terms with. Mm -hmm. Someone's feeling left out by you. Someone's feeling abandoned by you. Uh, you can feel this about this person, um, Gemini's. But let me say this. <laughs> Regardless of... Um, you know, them avoiding their feelings, they're not going to avoid you. Y'all, when I pick up the deck, look what I see. <laughs> the Seven of Swords, you guys. And let me say this too, Geminis. I feel like um, somebody's motive is, see, why do I keep getting this for you guys? Somebody's motive is to like trap you in some way. And like I said, I feel like if so, you don't get away. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a different, um, some type of motive. Um, this person may also want to live with you too. For some of you, they may not have said this yet or told you. I'm seeing a, this person might have a, have a different motive. Um, yeah, Queen. I'm seeing the Queen of Cups. Yeah, because Gemini's, I get like you're very loving, you're very nurturing. Um, you know you're very giving similar to the reading that i just did for you and mm, yeah let's let's find out more because y'all mm, i knew it i knew what i knew what i knew it oh my gosh y'all look what fell out onto the floor face up <laughs> i told you gemini's i told you i fucking told you this person has another motive it's to trap somebody. This person wants to trap you, Gemini's. Um, but like I said, it could be with a marriage with the, the hierophant on the bottom. Um, there's another motive. This person wants to reconcile. They have another motive, though, for doing so. It's like this, this person wants you stuck to them, bound to them. I keep seeing that. Why do I keep seeing this for you guys? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> And that was before I saw the devil, but I was going with my gut here with the seven of swords and the moon, because this could be about having an ulterior motive, uh, Gemini's. This person has a, a, an ulterior motive for um, whatever they're doing. So if this person comes back, pops up at your house, for some of you, this they're going to come to your house. And I've seen this combination for you a lot. This four of wands and a knight of swords, and look how he's walk, he's running towards this house here. Somebody might come visit you. Or come see you, Gemini's. There's an, there's an obsession. There's some type of obsession here, uh, Gemini's. Ooh we. I don't I don't like this. Mm, the high priestess fell out. Same spot, face up as the devil fell, on the floor. It just pops out. The devil and the high priestess too is can be about someone trying to do uh, magic. Uh, on you, spells on you, um, Gemini's. But like I said, they may not even realize that's what they're doing. They they could just be like, well, um, I want Gemini to be with me forever. I don't want Gemini to go anywhere. Like affirmations are spells. Praying is spells, uh, Gemini. So it's not bad necessarily, but you know, everyone has free will, as I've said in other readings. This reading is taking a very dark turn. <laughs> Because what the fuck is going on here, Gemini's? I can't make it up. The King of Cups, I told you. Somebody loves you a lot. And I feel like someone is trying to avoid their feelings. But how can I put this? This person is trying to like reconcile and have you without actually totally opening up, Gemini's. It's like this person wants to have their way without totally um giving in but oh my goodness this person has very 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 deep feelings for you gemini's feelings that they don't know what to do with feelings that they like i said they try to avoid could be dealing with a scorpio huh 
because honey, you dealing with a nut. <laughs> and I'm just keeping it a buck, Gemini's, because mm, I, don't, I don't like this energy, uh, Gemini's, at all. I don't like it at all. Y'all, the Seven of Swords again. Hmm, what I tell you? What did I tell you, Gemini's, with the Seven of Wands? I told you. I told you. This person is trying to keep you away. Like, keep, keep people away from you. Why do I always see this? The chariot's on the bottom. So it's like they want to keep people away from you or they don't want you dealing with other people. This person doesn't want you talking to anyone else. Like, what the fuck? Gemini's. I, I, feel, like, I feel like this too. Because like I said, the seven of swords can be about um, persevering as well like this this is not someone they're they're going to try every trick in the book book to get what they want gemini's i'm going to tell you that now for some of you they're even trying to try trying to do spells and stuff on you like i said i feel like they're trying to find a way to keep you from getting away there's definitely another motive here um gemini's like I said, I don't feel like it's totally bad. I don't feel like they're they're going to hurt you or anything like that. But I feel like they don't want you getting away from them. Similar to the reading I did yesterday. They're going to say whatever. They're going to do whatever. To make sure that you don't go anywhere, uh, Gemini's. Whatever, whatever it takes, Gemini's, they're going to make sure that you stay with them. But I do still see, though, Gemini's, that... And again, this could be a past energy of them avoiding their feelings. There, there could also be some regret, too, of this person not opening up. I feel like this person wishes they had opened up more. Um, this person does want to open up more. I also feel like, too, this person does want to be more vulnerable. I do see that. They just have a hard time doing so. They have a hard time being vulnerable. They have a hard time opening up. But regardless of how much they try to avoid their feelings for you, Gemini, it's like... They can't. They can't avoid their feelings at all, Gemini's. This, this person is obsessed, addicted to you. They feel this bond that, that they feel like y'all's bond is unbreakable, Gemini's. And I feel like this person wants you bound to them. They don't want you going anywhere, ever. And this person will probably do whatever you ask them to do because of um their obsession i'm seeing a lot of sevens too you might be seeing seven 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 um gemini's the seven of wands is uh, is a, a persevering card too so i feel like this you're not you're not going to get rid of this person like period like <sighs> let me get a couple of these y'all before i wrap this reading up Cause what the fuck I don't want to say it's dark this person may also be secretly watching your house as well Gemini's or this person might just pop up like hmm. yeah, I'm just going to take the top one because there's too many cards popping out Listen, damn, this is a long ass read. I tried to get deep in there, Gemini's, but it's just like words. Words can't describe how deep this person feels for you. I feel like they have a hard time admitting it, as well. Not even, not even just to you, but to themselves. But it's like they're okay with being a, a, a stalker. They're okay with doing that. I don't know. It's very odd. Very, very odd energy, Gemini. the person that you're dealing with. Okay, so on the bottom, I see union with number eight. I feel the chemistry between us. We need to trust that the energy we share will bring us back together again. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this person is trying to manipulate the energy, though, with the devil and the high priestess. They are trying to do so. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we have two 
um, patterns. I feel like I don't deserve your love. I'm worried you'll leave me when you see who I really am. Baby, if this ain't the seven of swords, I don't know what it is. This person has a hard time being vulnerable. They do care about how you feel, how you see them too, uh, Gemini's. This person avoids opening up. They avoid their feelings. They're, they avoid emotions, um, Gemini's. And I did say something about the imposter syndrome at the beginning of the reading because I feel like this person might feel like they're not enough. Gemini's, you feel like you're not enough. Please don't give up on me, five, uh, five. Please don't give up on me. I'm trying to change, but it takes time. Yep. And then number 11, love like ours can change the world. Child, there's, there's a very strong bond between you two. That's for certain. A spiritual connection between you two, uh, Gemini's. I'm triggered. Mm, that's a seven of swords. I'm triggered and old, an old pattern has surfaced and it hurts. <laughs> Here's that sexual energy again I keep picking up for you guys. I feel the sexual, sexual energy between us, yet it's beyond physical attraction. It needs to be elevated to the expression of deep, unconditional love. Yeah, baby. Didn't I say this person feels very deeply for you? Very, very, very deeply for you, uh, Gemini's. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out.